Welcome to the Bobby Wallace Show. Here are your hosts, Coach Bobby Wallace and Jeff Hodges. Hello and welcome to the 2014 edition of the Bobby Wallace Show and University of North Alabama football. I'm Jeff Hodges alongside you and a head football coach, Bobby Wallace. And Coach Wallace, this time of year, everyone's excited about the start of the college football season, the players, the coaches, the fans. But for UNA, it's been tempered a little bit because this is our latest start since 1975. So with a September 13th opening, it kind of changed a lot of your preseason work and what you've been accustomed to in the past. Well, it definitely has, Jeff. I mean, we've, <laughs> we've been waiting and waiting to play. Kind of tired of watching other teams play on TV. And, uh, but i tell you one thing that it has done that's, that uh, you watch all the first games, and I'm not saying we're not going to have any mistakes because we will. You know, first game mistakes happen to everybody. But you, after watching two weeks of football, then I've seen so many games and I've seen so many mistakes. And so we go back and we say, we got to work on that, be sure that doesn't happen to us. Uh, you know, you look at one game, you know, the Miami game where you know, they hesitated to turn the opening kickoff, got tackled on the 10. They caught a punt on the two. They, you know, uh, that had a 100-yard punt re a kickoff return. And those, you know, that kind of, so it's kind of given us an advantage to watch people and see their, remember the mistakes you make in the first game and, and go work on them ourselves. Now, it's been really tough to, uh, the worst part of it was that our first day, we reported the same day the regular students did. So we never had a two-a-day. We never had the, the students where they didn't have other things to do or the football players where they didn't have other things to do. And that was really, you know, to me, the probably the toughest part. Now, the good side of that to Mark Linder and I, our athletic directors, it saved us a lot of money because we didn't have preseason uh, uh, meals and preseason housing. But uh, it's been a long, you know, a long road to, to get here to where we're finally playing, and we're excited about it. And, of course, going with the uh, preseason, uh, hype is the expectations for the UNA Lions, of course, with the tradition you built here at UNA, but you're going to go into this 2014 season as a preseason pick to win the Gulf South Conference, ranked number five in the nation in the AFCA poll, so uh, really just another typical <laughs> preseason uh, ranking well, for Well, that's the way we, you know, obviously that's the way you want it. Some people can say you'd rather be not ranked and, you know, but that means that you didn't probably have a pretty good year the, the year before, and that's all it really means. Uh, you know, we started off awful last year going one and two, and uh, uh, even though we lost a close you know, overtime game to Jacksonville State, uh, we then lost a game at home against Delta State, first conference game. And I think at that point in time, everybody was really down. And then we re reeled off nine straight wins and made the playoffs and you know, won two of those and got to the quarterfinals. And you know, that's where all the, the hype comes from, that along with the fact that we got a quarterback returning. And we'll talk about all that later on, but have some really key players returning. But we lost some key players too, and uh, you know how we replace them. Whether this team has the intangibles uh, that they need, whether we can stay healthy, because there are some areas where we're thin. Uh, that uh, that's going to determine really the outcome and uh, the talent levels there. Uh, the expectations are always there at UNA, and they should be. Uh, University of North Alabama should be competing for championships uh, every year, and. Uh, and hopefully, you know, we will this year and that everything looks that good. It looks like it, that's going to happen. On today's show, we're going to give you a breakdown uh, offense, defense, special teams. We're going to preview the Mississippi College game. But right now, just a little overview of this 2014 team. You've got 33 lettermen back, only seven starters, but a whole lot of experience, a lot of guys that have played the last few years. And with who you were able to recruit and bring in, you really feel like you got a lot of talent and a lot of depth on this team. Well, I mean, that word starter is a can be a, an unusual word. I mean, like Shaquille Smith is not listed as a starter, but he probably played defensive tackle as much as anybody on the team last year. Uh, Floyd Jones did not start last year because he was the freshman of the year the year before, but Nick, uh, uh, Caleb Massey and Nick Williams, you know, Nick had the knee injury the year before and came back, and now Floyd played just as much as those guys did, but he didn't start. So, I mean, I think, you know, you look up, you know, Levi Fell, I guess, is, would be, I don't know if he's considered a starter or not, but our two freshman corners didn't start starting until late in the year. And uh, so, uh, Taylor Pontius, our kicker, was our starter the year before last, but set out last year. Now he's the starter. So, I, I think that, you know, this particular team, that, that is kind of a, a misleading thing. I think we have more kids that have started before or at least have started a game or played significantly in a game. 
and then the key players being Luke Wingo and, and Lamonte Thompson and uh, Lee Mayhaw, you know, those guys are, the, you know, have obviously played a lot of football. And with the amount of experience you have back, it's still a very young team. There are 15 seniors, but really only Taylor Carney is somebody who's been here, you know, four year uh, career guy. And so you got a, mainly a junior, sophomore team, which well, is always great. Yeah, well, it is for next year. There's no doubt about that. Uh, uh, it's amazing. We've only got three seniors on offense uh, that are starting and uh, probably about three or four on defense, depending on who starts. Uh, so, you know, next year, you know, I'm not ready to talk about next year, but the bottom line is uh, it is not a senior uh, dominant team. And so the leadership's got to come from the juniors who have played a lot. And it's ironic that was our first recruiting class of high school kids when we came here and, and went through the, the change from bringing in transfers to uh, recruiting high school players. and. Yeah, we were just very fortunate uh, to have such a great recruiting class that first year. We're going to take a quick break, and then when we come back, we're going to break down the UNA offense for you right after this. The Bobby Wallace Show is brought to you by TNT Fireworks, the Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail, and the Marriott of the Shoals Hotel and Spa, and by Little Steve's. TNT Fireworks is a proud sponsor of UNA Lions football and the Coach Bobby Wallace Show and wishes them good luck in their quest for a Division II national championship. TNT Fireworks has fundraising opportunities available for your nonprofit organization or group. Earn high profits in a short period of time selling TNT's quality products. Call us today or visit us on the web at TNTfireworks.com. Remember, if it's not TNT, it's not fireworks. Roar Lions! Alabama's got the best in luxury hotels and golf, and the numbers to prove it. Number one out of all 333 Marriott's for golf, the Marriott Shoals Hotel, and the Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail at the Shoals. Number two out of all Marriott's for spa, Marriott Shoals Hotel and Spa. Luxurious rooms with a view of the Tennessee River, plus two world-class golf courses ranked in the top 10 nationally. Call 1-800-949-4444 today to book your reservations at the Shoals. When you support Little Steve's Convenience Stores, you're supporting small American family-owned businesses. They, in turn, support our high schools, community, and the University of North Alabama. When you buy snacks, drinks, and other items from Little Steve's, you're saying, we believe in America. Little Steve's, six locations in Florence, Pine Street, Florence Boulevard, at the corner of Helton Drive and Cox Creek Parkway, Cloverdale Road, Petersville, Woodward Avenue and Muscle Shoals, and Jackson Highway in Sheffield. Little Steve's, believe in America. Welcome back to the Bobby Wallace Show. We're going to break down the 2014 University of North Alabama offensive unit for you. And Coach Wallace, last year a great offensive performance. UNA averaged over 39 points a game, which was the second highest in school history. And when you talk about that number, to have the amount of skill players back from that team, not just one quarterback, but two quarterbacks, two or three awesome running backs, the receiving core, a lot of skill players back this season. Well, there's no question about that. And it is amazing we scored, though. So many points. Now we'll say our defense uh, had a lot of touchdowns on defense to to up that, but still uh, we really came on as the season went along and played great on offense. Of course, Luke Wingo uh, is the key uh, as far as the quarterback position of uh, how far he's he's come since his freshman year. He's gotten better every semester. Semester. Jacob Tucker came in and you know for the you know I should have played him more early. Uh, he's a tremendous talent. Uh, you know, I, that we have no qualms about playing either one of them. Uh, Jacob is a really strong runner and uh, can, has a very strong arm himself, so they're very talented. Lamonte Thompson, uh, you know, has been explosive and, uh, you know, so quick and fast. In fact, speed in our backfield, him and Diamond Simmons uh, both running the four fours, and uh, which, is, you know, that's not an exaggeration. I mean, that's and that's fast. And then we bring, brought in Todd Kimbrell from Boston College, who you know, he had 133 yards one game against uh, Miami, uh, and you know he's uh, and he's fit in great. You know, we told him in, when we were kind of recruiting him that you know he'd have to be unselfish, that we liked our backs, and uh, but we needed a third back. You know, mm -hmm. last we lost Chris Coffey, and then uh, you know Lee Mayhaw and Corey Jones at wide out are back, and both of you know Lee just had a tremendous career. Corey, you know, played last year for the first time, was hurt a lot, but at the same time when he was healthy, uh, did a super job and. And that's the area we brought in. You know, I can't believe the amount of talent that we have been able to bring in at wideout. It's so competitive now. Uh, right now, Delvin Carpenter is 
kind of leading the way. Dre Hall, redshirt freshman. Uh, those two guys are probably out front, but there's a slew of guys behind them. I mean, it's, I we got it's crowded there. over there. Yeah, it is. And, uh, you know, we might end up redshirting or leaving somebody behind that could last year would have been the third receiver on the team. And uh, so that's how far we've come there. Offensive line's a little bit thin. Uh, starters coming back, Keith Jones at left tackles, you know, preseason all-conference. Uh, Justin Booth started at guard. Uh, Jess Cooper, a, red, a freshman, will play left guard. Uh, Rod Winston, I think, has worked as hard as anybody on our team, has moved from tackle to center and uh, is in tremendous shape. And then Stephen Evans, who uh, played a little bit last year, well, he came in here from Boston, Massachusetts and walked mm -hmm. on. Walked we don't on. know how he got here, but he th well, thankfully he did. And he's huge and a good athlete, and uh, he'll start at right tackle. Lawrence Carmichael will play. Uh, uh, quite a few, you know, you know, people will, you know, we got some depth there, but we need to develop some more. That's a lot of guys, as we mentioned earlier, who may not have started last year, but have got a lot of experience. Another one was Grant Lake, did start for you, oh, tied in. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, doing Called a great job there, and you've also got a great backup. Big pass against and West Alabama. Willie Bland. And Willie Bland, we converted him from defensive end to uh, tight end this spring. And, yeah, Willie's 6'7", 260, can run. Uh, he has the NFL-type body. He, he didn't have the best hands, but got contact this summer, and all of a sudden he can see. <laughs> you know, I didn't realize how important that was to yep. catch a ball. Yep. And, uh, and he's really had a good camp, so uh, I'm excited about those two guys. And one thing I just mentioned earlier, alluded to, but added some speed at wide out. You've added some on defense, too, but particularly a receiver. Also, you kind of speeding up the offense a little bit, maybe going a little more up-tempo this year. Well, we are. You know, more experience at the quarterback position allows you to probably move faster and uh, uh, Luke is so smart and so is Jacob uh, that they can uh, process what we want really fast and you know we got so much depth that you know that's going to keep people off balance uh, you know obviously there's times we won't go as fast but there's times when we can and gives us the ability to do that. We're going to take another quick break and we'll talk about the Lion defense when we come back. The Bobby Wallace Show is brought to you by Shoals Distributing and Budweiser and by Southern Fastening. Daddy, can I get a puppy, please? Okay, Sam. It's bedtime. Oh, ten more minutes, please. Ten more. Yes. Please. Hey, Daddy. Will you buy us some alcohol for my party tonight? We'll be right here at the house. You can even take the keys. Please? Absolutely not. Each time I turn around. Never let me have anything. Don't be a pushover. I hate you. Be a parent. Prevent. Don't provide alcohol to minors. First, there was hammer and nail, then air powered pneumatics, followed by cordless tools, both gas and battery powered. Now, from Senco, the leader in the power fastening industry, there is Fusion Technology. Power fastening with no gas, no hose, no competition. Senco's Fusion Technology creates the first true cordless pneumatic nailers. Five distribution centers in the southeast as a Southern Fastening Systems representative nearby to serve you. Southern Fastening Systems and Senco Brands, a team that can be beat. Welcome back to the Bobby Wallace Show. Now we're going to talk about the 2014 University of North Alabama defensive unit. And Coach Wallace, last year UNA gave up 19.8 points a game. I know back in the older days uh, that would have been a little high, but with the high-flying offenses that you see nowadays, that was pretty strong. You got some solid guys coming back at each position and looking forward to a good defense in 2014. Well, like you, uh, you said, we had a good defense last year, had a, led the nation in turnovers, but we're going to lose. We lost three linebackers that – very similar to the, the national championship uh, 90s linebackers with Ronald Keith Humphreys, Paul Sanders, uh, you know, it was Gabe Poe and DeVaris Wilson, National Player of the Year, and Breon James. But to start with the defensive line, uh, you know, that's really the leaders of our defense. It's uh, uh, Taylor Carney and Shaquille Smith at the defensive tackles, and then Chavez Sims and Tyler Smith at the defensive ends. Uh, Jalen Jones uh, is an experienced backup uh, with them. Uh, at, at end, uh, those guys make up one of the fastest defensive fronts I've ever been around uh, in Division Two, and uh, and they play with heart, and uh, they play hard, and they're relentless, and uh, you know that's kind of the leadership of our defense. Uh, where last year it was the linebackers, this year the linebackers that we brought in, we we just we, we know we've got talent there. We just get, they you know just inexperienced, and uh, Stephen Rich is going to start at Mike linebacker. He's a transfer from. Uh, 
Austin, uh, Austin, Austin P. P. And then uh, Edric Harris will back him up. Uh, that's two good ones there. Uh, Bud Coleman started our Sam linebacker, which Bud was on the team last year, practiced but didn't play because he was a partial qualifier. He is an exciting football player, very quick. Nick Johnson will back him up, a junior college transfer that can run. I mean, two junior college kids can run like deers. I mean, they, they can really run, C.J. Jackson being the one at wheel. And then we brought in Xavier Tri Triplett, who is a uh, transfer from Delta State. He was freshman of the year in the conference, been all conference before and hadn't really played a lot in the last year and a half, but uh, uh, has the talent, and we've seen it on the field, and he's proved it. And, uh, in the secondary, and of course, that's the group uh, that's we've got to come through. Secondary, our two corners that started as freshmen last year returning. Philbert Marshall's one of the best football players on our team in anything he does, and whether it's returning kicks or, or playing cornerback. Levi Fell has tremendous speed. He's a great cover guy. But we brought in three other corners from junior college that, uh, you know, I really think are going to add a great dimension. To, uh, and I think we'll be able to play a lot of man-to-man -man with, with the addition of these three junior college corners. And then Floyd Jones is the leader back in the secondary at safety and uh, Kyle Jackson. The guy that's come the, along the most since his freshman year is James Rivers. Uh, he has Caleb Massey ball skills, which I don't know if, any, you know, that means they're good. <laughs> and, uh, and then we moved Jalen Reedus from corner to safety, and that's really his position too. So that gives us four safeties, five corners, two deep at linebacker, and uh, maybe not as much depth at defensive front, even though we've got other players that, we're, that we believe can play. DeAndre Harrison, we think once he gets his chance, can play at tackle. Freddie uh, Reed can play. Uh, so Shelton Lewis uh, has moved uh, from end to tackle, and he can play. Brian Bur Bur uh, Nett, excuse me, Brian P Puckett at uh, defensive end behind. Uh, so, you know, we feel like we're too deep. We're going to play a lot of people. Uh, we're going to play a lot of people, especially in the first game, and uh, really evaluate them from there. And of course, you and they led the nation with interceptions last year with 29. Seven of those were by freshmen, Levi Fell and Philbert Marshall. But if you heard Coach Wallace rattle off the names of the defensive players, a lot of local kids on there. I mean, a whole lot of local kids on defense. And that's one thing with this UNA football program. Of your 125 players, 84 from the state of Alabama, and only 12 of the 125 are not even from a bordering state. So well, a great job with local recruiting. <laughs> well, that's what, you know, that's what we you know, wanted to do when we got here. Uh, it's panned out pretty well. It did last year. We won the conference. And then hopefully, you know, we can have a, a great year this year. And, you know, I've always believed that, you know, at the University of North Alabama, you know, there's nothing wrong with signing a, a Todd Kimbrell, who's transferred from Boston College, who's from Jacksonville, or right outside of Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, but the bottom line is the bulk of our team should be uh, fairly local, and local could be a, you know, two-hour uh, drive from Birmingham to Huntsville to, you know, over in Mississippi to up in s southern Tennessee, and uh, and that's the way, it, the way it's kind of turned out. and. Uh, you know, I, that just makes everybody uh, a little more support from the communities, a little bit better attendance. Uh, players are feel like they're closer to home, and, you know, it just, uh, I think it's a healthy situation. We'll take another quick break and have more Lion football for you when we come back. The Bobby Wallace Show is brought to you by... When you support Little Steve's Convenience Stores, you're supporting small American family-owned businesses. They, in turn, support our high schools, community, and the University of North Alabama. When you buy snacks, drinks, and other items from Little Steve's, you're saying, we believe in America. Little Steve's, six locations in Florence, Pine Street, Florence Boulevard, at the corner of Helton Drive and Cox Creek Parkway, Cloverdale Road, Petersville, Woodward Avenue and Muscle Shoals, and Jackson Highway in Sheffield. Little Steve's, believe in America. Hi, I'm Bobby Wallace, and I would like to invite you to shop with my friends at Hometown Market, located in the Seven Point Shopping Center in Florence. Hometown Market can supply all your grocery needs, with a large selection of groceries, fresh fruits, and vegetables at their everyday low prices. Their meat market offers a wide variety of fresh meats cut daily by the qualified meat cutters. Look for the other Hometown Market locations in Athens, Decatur, Hartzell, and Aniana. Hometown Market, 1421 North Wood Avenue in the Seven Point Shopping Center. 
TNT Fireworks is a proud sponsor of UNA Lions football and the Coach Bobby Wallace Show and wishes them good luck in their quest for a Division II national championship. TNT Fireworks has fundraising opportunities available for your nonprofit organization or group. Earn high profits in a short period of time selling TNT's quality products. Call us today or visit us on the web at TNTfireworks.com. Remember, if it's not TNT, it's not fireworks. Roar Lions! TVA Community Credit Union is proudly open to the entire community, offering unequaled service and convenience. They are the TVA Community Credit Union, and they make you feel like you're part of the community, part of the family. Customer service is great. I mean, they're, they're great with my wife and I and my daughter. We bought all of our houses, all of our cars, everything through them. With a little one running around, I don't have a lot of time, so it's real simple just to pull my mobile up and go straight to the site and check my account. I recommend them all the time, to be honest with you. For one, I mean, their rates are great. Try to work with you to get you the lowest rates, to get you where you need to be, to set you up for the future. Don't feel like I'm a number at all. I feel like I'm a part of the family. From mobile banking to the latest platform in online banking, we make managing your financing fast and easy. Our members are the owners of our credit union, so there are no high-priced stockholders to pay, allowing us to give our members totally free accounts and amazing loan rates. TVA Community Credit Union, everybody's credit union. And welcome back to the Bobby Wallace Show. Now we're going to talk about the Lions special teams for 2014. And Coach, we've had uh, great traditions of kickers and punters at UNA, but uh, this season I think we want to talk a little bit about the, the return guys because you've got a lot of speed over there and it could be an exciting year for the Lions. Well, we're real excited about our returners. You know, first of all, speed on defense ought to mean good kicking game. And then you look at the returners, of course, Philbert Marshall punt returns. You know, he returned a, a punt for a touchdown as a freshman the first game he played in. And uh, he's just an unbelievable returner, both on punts and kickoffs. Uh, has just a great knack for it, a great feel. And, uh, and you know, it's uh, – you know, it's it's really exciting to see him with the ball in his hands. Last year we tried to put him on offense a little bit. We've got a junior college. Yeah, I talked about those junior college corners, Vic Victor Jenkins and Darius Jones, and one of them is Darvell Harris, uh, who is from Chicago, and he's he's a six three corner that is a great return guy and has great speed. He uh, I think he set the record in two hundred meters in uh, Illinois has, in high school and had five hundred yards of total offense as a quarterback in the state championship game and. And he's going to be a lot of fun to watch. And then, of course, you go to the kickers and, you know, t getting Taylor Pontius back. You know, Taylor is a, is a tremendous kicker. He proved two years ago that he could uh, hit the field goals under pressure. He can kick the ball off into the end zone. Uh, he's also going to do our, our punting uh, to start off with. And, uh, you know, he's not a natural punter, but he's got such a strong leg. I think uh, he'll do a good job there. And uh, then Will Loveless, you know, from Florence High School, will be as a freshman, will be our long snapper. But I tell, I've said it all along, he's one of the best I've ever seen, and uh, he does a great job. And you know, you know, I'm sure he'll have, you know, freshman jitters and all that stuff. But he'll, 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 he'll be able to do a great job there. So I feel real good about the kicking game, or uh, the return game, the kickers, the snapper. So. Uh, uh, Lee Mayhall is going to hold. I don't want to leave him out because that's a very important part of the game. And, uh, you know, he, uh, he's learned to do that and do that well. We'll take one final break and we'll talk about the Mississippi College game when we come back. The Bobby Wallace Show is brought to you by TVA Community Credit Union and by Montague's and Frostbite. TVA Community Credit Union is proudly open to the entire community, offering unequaled service and convenience. They are the TVA Community Credit Union, and they make you feel like you're part of the community, part of the family. Customer service is great. I mean, they're, they're great with my wife and I and my daughter. We bought all of our houses, all of our cars, everything through them. With a little one running around, I don't have a lot of time. So it's real simple just to pull my mobile up and go straight to the site and check my account. I recommend them all the time, to be honest with you. For one, I mean, their rates are great. Try to work with you to get you the lowest rates, to get you where you need to be, to set you up for the future. Don't feel like I'm a number at all. I feel like I'm a part of the family. From mobile banking to the latest platform in online banking, we make managing your financing fast and easy. Our members are the owners of our credit union, so there are no high-priced stockholders to pay, allowing us to give our members totally free accounts and amazing loan rates. TVA Community Credit Union, everybody's credit union. 
TNT Fireworks is a proud sponsor of UNA Lions football and the Coach Bobby Wallace Show and wishes them good luck in their quest for a Division II national championship. TNT Fireworks has fundraising opportunities available for your nonprofit organization or group. Earn high profits in a short period of time selling TNT's quality products. Call us today or visit us on the web at TNTfireworks.com. Remember, if it's not TNT, it's not fireworks. Roar Lions! Hi, I'm Bobby Wallace, and I would like to invite you to shop with my friends at Hometown Market, located in the Seven Point Shopping Center in Florence. Hometown Market can supply all your grocery needs, with a large selection of groceries, fresh fruits, and vegetables at their everyday low prices. Their meat market offers a wide variety of fresh meats cut daily by the qualified meat cutters. Look for the other Hometown Market locations in Athens, Decatur, Hartzell, and Aniana. Hometown Market, 1421 North Wood Avenue in the Seven Point Shopping Center. Football and food go together. Montague's menu offers a variety of game day edibles, like the cheese steak, specialty burgers, the specialty Reuben, and even Polish dogs. For the health conscious, there's a salad menu too. Montague's, corner of Pine and Chisholm in Florence. Frostbite Frozen Treats, just blocks from the stadium, offers a unique experience. Next to Montague's, at the corner of Pine and Chisholm, it's customizable frozen yogurt. When the cup is full, the toppings are close by, and then it's just a matter of weighing and paying. Frostbite, next to Montague's, and on Facebook. Welcome back to the final segment of this week's Bobby Wallace Show. Coach Wallace, the UNA Lions are going to begin this 2014 season the way they ended last year, back on the road. It's going to be your sixth road game <laughs> in your last eight games. But uh, going back to a familiar place for you, you uh, grew up in Jackson, Mississippi, but playing Mississippi College down in Clinton. So it'll be neat to renew that rivalry that we hadn't played since 1995. Well, you know, it's great to have Mississippi College coming back into the league. You know, obviously they had some rough times, so back – you know, in the 90s with some probation or whatever they got and, uh, and you know, then they dropped down to Division Three, and now they're making the move back. And, I, you know, Mississippi College was one of the, you know, really good programs in our, in our conference uh, back in the 90s and uh, especially in the 80s when I first got here. And uh, so it's good to have them back. Going back to Jackson is great for me because that is home, but that's, you know, that's kind of a side thing. Uh, uh, but they have excellent facilities. They've improved those since, since we played them. And, and then they've hired a new coach uh, going in to, to make the move into the Gus South Conference. And, uh, you know, that's put us a little bit in a, a awkward situation to where uh, we don't know their personnel. We don't know for sure what they're going to do on offense or on defense. We have an idea. John Bland is their new coach, and he took uh, Cumberland to the uh, – NAIA national championship game last year. Uh, they didn't that where they got beat, but uh, getting to the championship game is pretty good. And we assume they're going to do the things he did there, and that's run the option, which is what Lenore Ryan did. And you know that's not the most fun thing to play against. And uh, then run a three-three stack on defense, and so we're kind of preparing for what he did in the past. Don't know anything about the personnel, but uh, you know it's going to be one of those things. They played Bell Haven. To, uh, they played Bell Haven last night, and uh, you know we're kind of how Mummy's now the head coach at Bell Haven, so I, a good friend of mine, so I'll be able to call him and, and get some information. Another aspect of this game, it will be one of four UNA games that'll be uh, uh, available on ESPN3, so you can watch it over the internet. So people who can't make it down to Clinton for the game can watch on there. That'd be great, and it is nice to be on, even though it's not on TV, but it is on TV. It's a broadcast, just like a TV broadcast. UNA opening the season, Clinton, Mississippi, September 13th at 7 p.m. at Robinson Hale Stadium. Hope to see you there. Thank you for watching the Bobby Wallace Show. Please join us again next Sunday at 6:30.